thanks so much for coming. Thank you. Oh, back. man, Thank yeah. You. Great to have you on the show. I'm just curious about something. First, right off the bat, this movie, Unfaithful, obviously uh, a major movie. It was a huge hit. That's usually a good thing. <laughs> but in it, you play, which is unusual, a woman who's in a fairly happy marriage and is unfaithful to her husband. And I'm yeah. wondering, did that change the way people looked at Right. Way it's to go, girl. Right, you right. Know, <laughs> we showed them. Right. Um, you know, or how could you? Richard Gere, I mean... How could you, you, right, you know, even the soap operas and things, you know, how could you cheat on your... Right, right, people get mad and they, it's on... It's very funny because, uh, you, are you, sex on the train? Hmm? There is no sex on the train. There isn't, no, no. it's not... Joke in there. That's not me, no. Uh, I, I don't know what to say about that yeah. scene. But it was a great, it was a fantastic... Adrian Lyon, I mean, when you go to his films, I think you can pretty much bet on having a very visceral, you know... Right, Fear right. of the opposite sex at the end of the film. <laughs> yeah, that's what he... Nobody gives you any sympathy for being homesick. Screw you, you're having wine and olive oil and, you know, it's beautiful there, isn't it? Quick, right, you know. right. But I, 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 I was homesick. I mean, after five weeks, you're like, okay, I've had all the pasta, sampled the wine, and now I miss my daughter, I miss my boyfriend, I want to go home, you know? And you it's pretty sad. Ask yeah. Josh. He gave me a waffle iron, a waffle machine. Mm -hmm. You plug it in. Yeah, it's a waffle iron. Well, I yeah. thought you put them in. This strange toaster. waffle machine. Olds in the house about how to make waffles. So yes, now I can. I have a variety. You never prepare. In that with eggs and things. <laughs> City kid. Yeah. Were you making uh, frozen waffles? Are good. That's what I'm talking about. Right. The oh well. Isn't that like false advertising? I mean, what if you really, if somebody came into the kitchen, right, and you had to like and prepare see, it again, right? They is that, the, is that the correct title, the Rumblefish? Rumblefish, That's yes. a strange title. Is, is it fair to ask you what that means? Uh, Rumblefish is sort of a slang name for Siamese fighting fish, which is symbolic of uh, a relationship that goes on in the film Matt Dillon and Mickey Rourke. It's the second oh. film I did for Coppola. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a third one now. <laughs> as soon as I get done, I'm, you're, I'm out. You're a very busy young lady. That's right. <laughs> I've been out here. This is the five-month anniversary date of... Uh, the start of the film, Streets of Fire, that's what I'm You doing. told me that backstage. Did you been at the 14th uh, birthday party? I did my laundry, actually. That's, that's <laughs> what I did for my birthday. I, I, had a, I had a big surprise birthday party thrown for me on my 16th, Sweet yeah. 16, muckadoo deal. And it was a <coughs> fiasco for me because I had to play hostess to a bunch of people I did not know. And it was like a burden, you know. I said, this one is going to be just another day in the life of. And I went out, I did my laundry. And <laughs> you must have started this <laughs> Just about seven, I was six. Yeah. Are you the child of, of, of professional uh, actors or actresses? Am I the child of? Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> um, that, well, my mother was saying... wonderful, yes. I haven't used that one yet. <laughs> you can use parents if you want. Parents? Yeah. Mm. Appropriate word. Uh, my mother was a Playmate of the Month, October 57. I'm very proud of her for that. <laughs> it wasn't right? that time. I mean, you know. Isn't was that... a lot... No. <laughs> Why not? Well, because you have to reveal quite a bit more at this point. Right. That's uh, one good reason. There's many other good reasons why I would choose not to do that. I don't have to. I mean, yeah. uh, Mom wanted to get a lot of exposure, and <laughs> she did. <laughs>
Swim towards it, honey. Well, I think you're blowing it a little out of proportion. No, I'm not. Mrs. Kent? I'm Lois Lena from the Daily Planet. Um, what? I'm from the Daily Planet and I'd like to talk to you about your son. Those of you who may know of his watch this world suffer the consequences.